that is a song called Miracle Drug. And it is by A.C. Newman. I don't know who that is, but I like the song. Yeah, it doesn't overstay its welcome. There's something to be said for a two-minute song. The Pixies did that really well. A lot of early Beatle had like two-minute songs. I feel like attention spans are limited. Myself included, by the way. And I can listen to some longer songs for sure. But there's something really, really nice about just not overstaying your welcome. You, you got the song, you know the, the chords, the verse, the chorus, the bridge, and then you're done. <laughs> you don't need to dwell. Just, just do the thing. Two minutes, two and a half minutes, you're gone. You, you know, you're good. But it depends on the song. Like some songs could definitely be embellished and expanded, but I think I lately have been preferring shorter. Uh, so once again, Chad, I wanted to mention for anyone just joining, there will be a Rem Lazar event in Staten Island that I'm going to be talking about more and more. Um, I'll let you know the exact day and time. We're working out the details. But if you want to watch the Rem Lazar movie with Jack, who plays Rem Lazar, myself, in a theater of people on Staten Island, sorry to say, uh, that will be happening in a couple weeks. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> then we'll probably end up doing, I'm going to probably interview him a little bit and then do like a little Q&A and I think he's going to sign. So that's kind of what's happening. And I'm hoping if this goes well, then there will be more events at this particular theater. It's the Alamo Draft House. So I'm brainstorming ideas because they wanted to work with me for some reason. And um, I think we might end up doing stuff like, example, this Rem Lazar thing. I'm going to try to get Greg Sestero. Uh, might do some stuff just talking about video games. I don't know. So it's kind of neat. Blade Runner showing, they already did it. I was there for it, <laughs> so of course. But, you know, that's something that I, I think would be fun to do in the future is just more um, random events at a movie theater because they, for some reason, again, want to work with me. And they were like, do you have any ideas? I was like, how about bad movies? Like, I have an idea for this October of putting Troll 2 on the big screen. Gray Leno showcase. Oh, oh, that's evil. That's evil. I'll consider it. But if you're interested in this Rem Lazar event, uh, give me a couple more days and I'll make a formal announcement and I'll let you know the exact day and time and where. But I think it's kind of neat that the opportunity was given to me. Bob the Blob. Well, the problem is. The problem is getting the rights to some of these things. They actually have to do that. Like the reason this took so long, this was supposed to happen months ago, is simply because they had to get the rights to Rem Lazar, even though I know the people that own the rights. So there's a whole bunch of things. Like I wanted to show the Mario Brothers movie, the original, when the new one was not out yet. And they couldn't get the rights to it. And that just kind of ended up fizzling. And it's just a glacial pace. Um, someone said, this is why theaters are dying. Too much red tape. I disagree, but also agree. My agreement is, yeah, this is like a shame. It takes so long to get the rights to something. But also, I'm trying to show movies like Troll 2 and The Room. So I don't know if that's going to save theaters, but we'll see. Is the Rem Lazar thing happening on August 2nd? It is supposed to, but we, I'm not supposed to confirm 100% yet. We're all working out some details. They might have posted it somewhere, but, you know, just give me a couple days and I'll give you the exact informations. <laughs> 